Initial visit to Japan to initiate SDM. Took two trainers, one from the public sector and the other from the private disability sector. Promotion of SDM is challenging due to the guardianship system. 2018 Japan ratified Article 12 of the UNREPT. A new way of promoting Article 12 of the UNRWA by capacity building of a workforce to elicit PWD's expressed wish. The model encourages creativity and thinking outside of the box. Every opportunity is taken to connect the PWD with their community. There are four phases in this model. Recruitment hyphen PWD self selects and willingly undertakes a six month S.D.M. process and nominates unpaid supporters. Agreement hyphen all expressed wishes are written in non statutory agreement. Gathering the team hyphen professional network, family and friends invited to further the agreement. Exit and sustainability. by training the facilitator in the skills required to elicit expressed wish. The integrity of the SDM process is maintained. It is a two-fold process of utilizing the model and ensuring that the PWD's expressed wish is truly heard. PWDs have learnt to drive, own a business, Run a marathon, a wheelchair bound PWD took a cruise, managed their money. One said that at the end of the six months, they no longer needed the process as he now knew his resources to make his own decisions. Finances Major costs have been flights and accommodation. Sustainability Major commitment by practitioners to continue the work. Challenges, inability of the Japanese to take sufficient time off from their employment in order to undertake the training. It is envisaged that there will be sufficient trainers to continue the work and the continuous active research will further the work. Volunteers will now receive some payment.